subway you on I'm Adam Powell. Welcome to my uh, look for channel, but today this is not a look. Today I'm broadcasting, I'm sorry, I'm broadcasting my uh, my vintage finds, which today I found some good vintage streetwear pieces, in my opinion, and I found one nice vintage accessory, designer accessory actually. And then I'll showcase my fiance's uh, vintage finds as well. So I'm gonna start off with her vintage finds and then I'll show you guys what I found today at the thrift. So today she found two vintage Nike tees. One is a tank top and one is a t-shirt. Nice for the summer. Pretty sick. I love vintage Nike, it's my favorite. I don't really like the new Nike. I never really buy new Nike. This reminds me of like um, Rick and Morty. Yeah, do like the, uh, yeah, the, um, the theme song, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you the tag. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Bang. And show the next vintage Nike tee, which I found and I showed it to her. She liked it a lot. Love Nike. We all start out even as they finish their accounts. So the back. Of course, just do it. Alright. And um, also, she found a Western button down. Right? I guess you could find it. Yeah, it's, it's a Western. It's a Western. I believe so. Wrangler. Beautiful flow embroidery. Oh, yeah, it is Western. <laughs> hmm? It is a Western shirt. Yep. Yes. It is a Western shirt, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it says it on the tag. It's funny. Haha. -ha. Uh, yes, beautiful floral embroidery, as I was saying. Um, very nice feel to it. Um, show the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even notice the. Yeah, on the, the bottom. bottom of the ears. A little nice little distress. Nothing too crazy. Oh. Yes. Now, I want to showcase. The pieces I found. Let's start off with my vintage accessory, which I got lucky on. It was really dark as this store I went to today, but I still found this. Jane Paul Gautier tie. I believe it's from the late 90s. <clears throat> uh, do some research when I get home. Okay, call this. Yes, tie. And beautiful tie. Came with to wear it. Uh, the next thing I got is my uh, flannel. My Izod flannel. Paid like six dollars for this one. I love the colors on it. Navy. A little, a little bit. Hit the navy. Mainly green. Right. Didn't find nothing crazy today. Nothing too crazy, but you know, I still found pieces that I could wear daily. Uh, find another pair of Carhartt pants. like $10 for these. Um, yeah, I had another pair this summer, but uh, I put paint spats on the roll over and I did too much, so I don't even them no more. But these right here, is a nice little vintage feel to it. I'll probably just put like one of those paint spats on the side of it and that's it. I won't do nothing else to it. Uh, the bottom got a nice little distressing out there here, the detail at the bottom. Is right here, that very bottom right here. Cool look to it. Uh, 
And I have one more piece I found today. Which is my favorite, in my opinion. I don't see sweats like these at all. These I actually paid $40 for, which I'm very upset with myself, but uh, I like the aesthetic of the pants, the sweats actually. It's pretty cool. Let me see if I can find another pair. Let's see if I can find another pair. I don't know if it's a college team or a high school team, not too sure. I mean, I, those of you out there, you know, school me on it. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, if y'all know, school me on it. But um, yes. Pretty cool sweats, like, like I said, the, the, I love the strings on it. I love the strings on it. And then uh, the drop pots. But it's not exaggerated, if you know what I mean. Like Rick Owens, the drop pots are very exaggerated. These sweats are just, just a, little, just, just a hint of drop pots. Just nothing, nothing crazy. Nice British feel to it. I didn't, I didn't try them on because the, the fitted rooms are closed due to COVID. But, um, you can just tell with something just, you know doesn't fit just right on you. And this also gives me um, good design inspo, you know what I mean? Like it gives you some great ideas just by looking at it. But yes, that's what I found today. That's what we both found today. And um, hope to do some more videos like this real soon, you know? You know, COVID put a little damp on things. So um, a lot of the thrift stores are just like kind of wacky reasons like lately. Like nobody's dropping stuff off. So a lot of some like some of the pieces I've seen like three four months ago, or even before like even before COVID, but um, I still managed to find a few good things. All right, that was that concludes my video for today. See you guys soon. Peace.